What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's been a bit since you've seen me. It is 2024. We are pumped up, we are motivated. But as you can see, Canada is cold right now. Specifically, southern, southwestern Ontario is cold right now. Let me bring this Amazon package in. I oh, love Amazon. Oh, take off my stuff. So, a lot's happened, a lot's transpired in the last, I'd say, three weeks or four weeks since I shot a video. So this is kind of my first one back. I'm still going to be doing the beginner series of videos, um, just targeting beginner hobbyists. But today is an update about what's going on in my off me coat, what's going on in my fish room. So, come with me and let's go figure it out. Walk in, you have the beautiful monster fish aquarium and if you're gonna look you're missing one fish this tank is missing one fish specifically and well there's one of them but where's the black what happened to the black it didn't work out now did it not work out with the albino arowana no it didn't work out actually with my azul peacock bass See, the Azul Peacock Bass are starting to breed. They were showing breeding signs of breeding behavior. Um, they were dancing. The male was trying to swindle the female to lay. And, of course, he goes and fertilizes. However, they caused commotion in the aquarium, specifically at both of my arowana. However, I listed them both for sale. The black one went within about 24 hours. The albino has been a little harder to move but it did not work out. So can arowana go together in an aquarium? Well, yes they can, but it depends on the size of the aquarium and ultimately what's in it. Now, did I have any th thought that this was not going to work out? A little bit, but I thought it was for my arowana. And turns out, well, it wasn't, so I have to rehome both my arowana. However, I will say this, they have laid off the albino arowana since, um, well, they've laid off the albino arowana since I got rid of the black. So I don't know what that's about. But anyways, long story short, we're also making some changes. So let me show you this aquarium. So you remember this beautiful aquarium that housed six geophagus? Uh, where's the jag? The beautiful jaguar cichlid over there. That's my female jag. Let's see if we can get a good shot. Oh, she's hiding. Look at that. Um, there's one of the geos right there and another one right there. Um, these are the ones that actually had hole in the head. One randomly died like a week, week and a half ago. No signs of illness. I don't know what happened. Um, just randomly died. Look, look at this poo. And look at this one drinking this massive poo. That's that ultra fresh poo right there. Nice and brown, no white there, all healthy. Anyways, let's not look at fish poop. And this little fella right there is my beautiful fire eel. Doing great, love him. And these clowns and covered in this pile of poo here is my L95 orange cheek pine cone pleco. Doing absolutely great, no issues there. However, I'm shutting down this aquarium. This aquarium is being shut down. I am changing it up. I have an idea of what I want to do. Oh, look at, I almost forgot the archer. ADHD, Gordon, you need to come down. This aquarium is being shut down. I've already gotten rid of some of the fish. I've gotten rid of some of the geos. I have two left. I'm still looking for a home for this pair that's here. This is a breeding pair. Um, and uh, no one wants to buy these two, but the other three have gone already to a home. I do want a little bit more money for these guys. I think it's fair that I ask a little bit more. Um, however, I'm holding on to them. Clowns are going to my good friend, Frankie. Um, he's got a, a YouTube channel as well, an Instagram account, Escaping the Six. The Waru, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with him yet, but the Pine Cone Pleco is going to Frankie as well. Actually, a bunch of these fish are going to Frankie. I'm rehoming the rest of the fish. So if you're interested in a fish in this aquarium and you live in southwestern Ontario, I am not shipping any fish. I am not shipping fish, please. 
So if you aren't within driving distance and you can't come pick them up yourself, uh, please just don't ask. Hit me up on Instagram at Aquarium Talk TV and uh, you'll find out what's going on. We can we can figure it out. Anyways, saving him for last. Uh, yeah, Mitch. Mitch is doing absolutely great. It is water change day for him, so tank maintenance days. You can see the glass is dirty, but you know, so is yours. Isn't he incredible? So he eats a ton, but the other thing was he had a bunch of tank mates, and if you've watched the past videos, you'd see there's a bunch of tank mates. Look how dirty this glass is. Um, I swear to God, the, the water is beautiful, but there is what's left of his tank mates. Right there. Yeah. That's about what's left. Mitch ate the rest. Safe to say, Cardinals do not go well with a fajaca. Larger fish don't seem to be much of a problem, but cardinals seem to be a problem. Plants are doing good. They're starting to grow out and get turned into like a little bit of a jungle. I like it. I really don't want to do a lot of maintenance in this aquarium. I really should have cleaned my glass before this video, but this is real life fish keeping. No bullshit. So there you go. That's Mitch. Mitch is happy. Mitch is good. Look at, look at all this. Yeah, I'm embarrassed, guys. Next, who do we have? We have the Mangrove Jack. He is such a cool little fella. He's doing absolutely great. Eats like a champ, growing, um, growing a little slower than I'd like to be. Uh, I'd hope to be honest, but uh, he is doing good. So this is a red Mangrove Jack, Queensland Jack. I named him Havoc. He's doing good. I do have a new fish in this aquarium here, but I'm not ready to show you him just yet. Now look at this guy. This guy, I have a story on. This guy, obviously, this is a girl. Um, it, what I think is a girl anyway. It looks like a girl to me, a female. Ooh, Let's see if we can do it again. We don't want to taunt her. Uh, but this is a female common snapping turtle. I do not recommend having these in captivity. Um, but if you have to, um, make sure that you have, have the proper permits to, to be able to house one, of course. But uh, she's a sweetheart. Um, she'll obviously rip your finger off if you get too close. Uh, she's not tame by any means. She is a wild, common snapping turtle, and we're going to keep her that way. As you can see, all the junk on her shell that came from the wild and the algae buildup. I did try scrubbing some of it off, but at the end of the day, we're going to keep it as wild as possible. She is going back into the wild. She was found in the cold waters, um, out of the water in abnormal in, in an abnormal setting here in Ontario. Um, she was going to die. Um, emaciated, skinny, red, um, it just, uh, she would, no hope. Something was wrong with her. She has a little bit of a, um, uh, crack in her shell in the back corner. The algae's covering it, but, um, I have the water down for her cause I'm actually in the middle of water changes right now. Um, I'm also going to be putting a FX4 canister filter on here. I literally have a brand new one just lying around, um, with all the cables. Yeah. So anyways, so this girl is going to be here till about April and it'd be cool to get some content of her, but she is not a pet by any means whatsoever. She is a wild animal and she'll go back to the wild. I called a couple turtle rescues to be honest, and they all said that they were full and uh, well, rather than let this girl die, I, I figured I'll keep her and then we'll, we'll give her, we'll bring her back to the wild when she's ready, but she's eating ultra fresh turtle nutri sticks. Awesome stuff. Check it out. You can find this at uh, fish stores across the U.S., uh, CK Fish World, The Waterfront. Um, if they don't have this in stock specifically, you can ask them to uh, order it. Um, also, you can find it on Amazon. Um, it, they ship across the United States and soon all of Canada. So that's going to be pretty fun. But yeah, so she's eating this and she's also eating tilapia, shrimp, fish that die off in, in the aquarium. Um, that I don't feel is sick. Uh, they don't get the same diseases and illnesses that fish do. So, which is really cool that way. So, that is the snapping turtle. Literally, that is all I have for now to show you in the fish room. So this tank is getting stripped down and completely redone. I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. 
I have a feeling I might go salt water. Let me know in the comments if you think I should put salt water in here and uh, maybe do like a grow out salt water predator tank. Um, in my opinion, right now in my life, in the stage that I'm at, less is more for me. I'd like to have some big monster tanks with a, a couple big freshwater monster fish tanks and a big saltwater predator tank. I think that would be really cool. I'm also building a 12 foot plywood aquarium. It's gonna be four foot front to back, 12 foot long, and about three and a half inches high, three and a half feet high. So it's gonna be quite the large tank um, that'll be able to house some crazy monsters and to move you know, guys over like my Temensis peacock bass, move him over to that aquarium. Oh, and there's the Bicher and obviously my rays to have, just have more space. I mean, this is great for them long-term. They'll be fine in here for the rest of their lives. However, at the end of the day, I would like them to have more space, um, just be better for breeding activity and all that other stuff as well. So, so yeah, that's where I've been. Holidays got in the way. I got promoted at my job, so I've been really focusing on that. Obviously the kiddos, the spouse, Fish are good though. Everyone's happy, everyone's healthy. I have made some changes, but I needed to make this quick, barely edited, if any. I have no idea. Like I'm probably just gonna film, just upload this on YouTube the way it is, just because I have so much more content that I kind of want to get out to everybody, but I want to leave everybody off with where I'm at right now, rather than backtracking on videos and all that stuff. Maybe we'll do some videos uh, feeding videos soon. I want to have my kids feed my fish, you know, some cool stuff. So comment, let me know what you'd like to see on the channel. You know, I'm sorry for being away for like three and a half weeks, almost a month now, I would say, or close to a month, maybe a month. I don't know. Anyways, but I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. A lot of cool dope stuff coming out, building the 12 foot tank. I'm probably going to fly out the King of DIY back to my house to help me build that tank. Because when you got the King of DIY as a friend, why not utilize them, right? Uh, I also am going to be going out to Kentucky, going back to a friend's house. He just built his 8,000 gallon pond. So I'm going to go check out his monster fish when that's up and running. Probably some fish expos. I almost forgot about Fins and Fury. So Fins and Fury is a boxing match actually between the King of DIY and Rodrigo from Predatory Fins. They are the headline main event, but it's also going to have some of your favorite animal creators on the undercard as well. Boxing, New York Athletic Commission Boxing, real venue, real ring, real crowd. Tickets will be available soon, I think. Um, you can also pay-per-view it. So if you can't make it to Long Island, New York, where the fight's going to be at, you can actually pay-per-view it. I'll probably keep people on my channel updated because I know a lot some of some of Joey's fans um, have seemed to kind of come over to my channel as well. So, and I appreciate him for doing that. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, comment, let me know what you think of the fish room, or the updates or the plans. I want to know your thoughts on it. Take care, everyone. Peace.